हेलो एवरीवन सो इन दिस सेशन वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट हाउ टू कैलकुलेट आईआरआर फॉर एनिविटी यूजिंग प्रेजेंट वैल्यू एनिविटी फैक्टर टेबल सो नाउ हियर व्हाट इज द आईआरआर ऑफ एनिविटी एनिविटी इज द इनफ्लोज द कैन्युअल कैश इनफ्लोज व्हिच विल बी सेम थ्रू आउट द पीरियड ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट and here we need to find out what is the irr or calculate irr using present value annuity factor tables now now we have already seen how to read a present value annuity factor table and what is the meaning of present value annuity factor table now let us see here now here wherein there are uniform cash flows so when we say annuity it is uniform cash flows so in uniform cash flows the initial investment is equal to annual cash inflows into annuity discount factor of discount rate for number of years of useful life of investment and this is represented by a that is annuity factor so we can say that a is equal to initial investment divided by annual cash inflow so that is how we calculate this a or annuity factor wherein we have present value annuity factor table and this annuity factor we will be comparing it with the annuity factor table so once the a is calculated the interest rate corresponding to the project's life is searched in present value annuity factor table and accordingly we calculate what is the irr now let us see one example for this now here we are having annuity factor table okay now here let's say let's take an example say suppose a is 3.85 and the life of the project is 4 years okay now we need to search the second step is we need to find it out what the value of a so in annuity factor table so now 3.85 now let us see here if we see the annuity factor table 3.85 at 4 years lies between 1 and 2% so we know that the discount rate is in between 1 and 2% now again the third step here is we use interpolation now for interpolation the difference in the discount rate is 2% minus 1% so 1% so for discount rate difference in the discount rate of 1% difference in the annuity factor is at 1% it is 3.9020 minus 3.8077 so 3.9020 minus 3.8077 so if we solve this we get 0.0943 so now we need to find out for what difference in the discount rate okay the present value of annuity factor okay present value annuity factor what annuity factor we need is 3.85 now we will be calculating it by taking 1% as a base so what is the annuity factor at 1% 3.9020 so 3.9020 minus 3.85 so that comes to 0.05 so again we cross multiply this so it will be 1% which we have taken as a base plus 0.05 into 1 divided by 0.0943 so if we solve this we get it as 1.5302 is the 
discount rate that is IRR at which the annuity factor is 3.85. So whenever the annuity factor table is given and the cash flows are uniform, uniform cash flows are given, then we can calculate the IRR using A that is annuity discount factor. Now let us cross check this. Now this is the discount rate 1.5302. So let us calculate if the annuity factor is 3.85 for 4 years. So what does that mean? That means means that the, at the end of every year we are receiving rupees 1 as a cash inflow so that comes to 4 so present value of all this cash inflows should be 3.85 so that is what is meant by annuity factor so let us see if we get the same thing so here we have calculated it so year we have 1 2, 3, 4 years and here we are calculating discount factor for every year. So 1 was the principal amount divided by 1.0153 the whole raised to 1 for the first year. So it comes to 0 0.9849. Okay, so how do we get this? Let us understand. So discount factor table and annuity factor table is always calculated in relation to rupee 1. So let's say today I have rupee 1. If I invest it, so interest on rupee 1 at the rate of 1.5302% will be 1 into 1.5302 divided by 100. So that will be 0 0.0153 and total amount that will be received after one year will be 1 that is the principal plus 0 0.0153 so that comes to 1.0153. So that this is what is taken in the denominator here and this is the amount that is present value of that. So present value of 1.0153 is 1. So we need to calculate what will be the present value of 1 which will be received after 1 year. So we are just cross multiplying it here. Same we are using it for 2 years. We are multiplying it twice. So raised to 2 then 3 then 4 and Accordingly, we have calculated the present value for all the amounts that is rupee 1 which will be received at end of every year for 4 years. Now annuity factor, we just have to add all this discount rate and this we have added it here and we got it as 3.85 which is correct. So this is what is the IRR that is 1.5302. So this is how we calculate internal rate of return when the, we have uniform cash flows and we have present value annuity factor table. Thank you.